Let me well, bring but, in but, some tweets here. One says, all you have to do is look at the stats to know alcohol wrecks millions of lives daily. Science versus politics and morality. Another that's one exactly says, right. less isn't a bit moot with existing data clearly showing overall. <laughs> this one doesn't make any sense. But anyway, go ahead, Brian. What were what? you saying about that first one? That's exactly right. We, but Another we one says, society, marijuana is much safer than alcohol. We've ha we as a society have had a battle over the legalization of alcohol, and it's something that our constitution and has dealt with. And it's and it's now it's now six, uh, it's something that's allowed. People are allowed to use it. And I I, I drink a beer every right. once in a while. Well, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But right. as a society, and there's nothing wrong with smoking a joint. Yes, nothing there wrong is. with smoking. Brian, because it, it Brian, causes what? so many problems for our society. You mean like alcohol, Look, you have to and have tobacco? reasonable lines, reasonableness, right. and reasonable lines. Let's, and let's and I've let's, drawn my line. I think society's drawn the line at marijuana. And 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 you uh, have drawn. But wait it in a about what, what about the what about all the statistics that Alan just cited? And in fact, there is the re most recent survey says that 56 percent of Californians favor legalizing pot for recreational use. So a lot of people are moving that line the same way they did uh, with prohibition. Well, the bottom line is the the. People in California will make that decision on election day. So I don't. Yes. We'll see if these poll numbers pan out and what happens. Hey, Brian, but if you if take Brian, a step if, back to medical marijuana, right. I think your average American really does believe if you have AIDS, if you have a right. cancer, and if you want right. to uh, reduce the pain that you have, I think Marinol or some, some form of marijuana may be something that people think is reasonable for, they do. for an individual to be allowed to get. The problem is we have rampant abuse. You have people who say they have pain out in California. You've got a proliferation of these uh, uh, marijuana Brian, stores where Brian, they're selling marijuana. Brian, those and, and are all effects of prohibition. Everything you're pointing out are the effects of the prohibition. If people are abusing this in California, they're doing it because they're getting around the prohibition of marijuana. Let's just get some, some more statistics here. While we're sitting here yammering, Every 37 seconds, another American is arrested on marijuana charges, 90% of them for possession only. We've arrested 20 million people since 1965, Brian. I don't know how you can possibly support a system where the government violently intervenes in the lives of otherwise productive, tax-paying citizens like well, me. The government uh, intervenes in, in the heroin trafficking. Right. They but, but, shut down crystal yeah, meth labs. Right. But you, They're you, against the distribution of yeah, cocaine. But, so right. there is a role for the government to stop right. drugs but that the, are illegal the, the that are harmful is, Brian, to the average American. The problem is, but following your line of thought, since tobacco kills 400,000 people, chumps like you that smoke tobacco, mm -hmm. why would you not be a criminal? Why isn't your act of smoking tobacco an act of moral turpitude? Why do you... Yeah pretend that it's not an act of moral turpitude? Why Good do you point. pretend that people who use marijuana I'm, I'm I'm not yeah. going to accept a lot of your premises. First of all, marijuana I'm not is not you good wouldn't. for you. It's well, not just good for like you. Alcohol and tobacco Brian, are not I'm good not for you, Brian. You know I know smoking they're bad is not for good for you. you. So why don't we you. make yeah. that Brian, illegal too? Do Brian, you think we should? Uh, Brian, ice cream is not good for you. Would you make ice cream illegal? That's no, pure fat. No, I love fat. ice cream. Okay. I love it. It's so, great. So, Brian, the problem okay, is... Okay, but ice cream doesn't make you high, Alan. It doesn't impair you. So what we're talking about here, to use my favorite 25-cent word here, which I hope Brian will appreciate, we're really talking about psychopharmacological McCarthyism. Mm, how do you like that one? Whoa. Right. That's Explain more than that one. How, how could we have a society today where alcohol kills 100,000 people a year? All around America today, people will get pulled over for dry, drinking and driving. 400,000 people will die annually just for using tobacco. So That's right. So how could we justify arresting and incarcerating somebody who's using a substance that doesn't kill, doesn't addict, and doesn't cause the same problems of the drugs you consume? It does addict. It is addictive. Marijuana it's not is, addictive. is an addictive drug. It and doesn't it's a cause... gateway drug to other drugs. It Wait, by the way, Brian, by the Brian, way let... it, Brian, is alcohol a gateway to other to other things? I mean, like marijuana? I mean, honestly, no. take yeah, a step Alcohol yeah. might lead you to marijuana, yeah. might lead you to who knows what else. Cocaine. Listen, we, we I mean, can, why doesn't it work that way? Look, the gateway effect is absolutely not true. For every 102 people in the United States, according to the government data that measures people who use drugs, for every 102 people who use marijuana, one goes on to use heroin or cocaine. So blessedly, oh thankfully, we do not have a gateway effect. Otherwise, we'd have tens of millions of heroin and cocaine addicts. So. Thankfully, what we actually see from the data, the first drugs that people use in this society are caffeine, tobacco, alcohol, then marijuana, 
and then they might go on and try a hard drug. So marijuana is not a gateway drug. It is simply maybe best described a, grub, a drug of terminus. Most Americans will stop using drugs after they try marijuana. Thankfully, so few people will ever go on and experiment with heroin let, or let, cocaine. Let me, let me cite an authority that uh, I don't usually cite, the Obama administration. They have found that marijuana is associated with dependence, with respiratory and mental illness, with right. poor motor performance and right. cognitive you, impairment. Brian, that you doesn't could, Brian, sound like you, Brian, a good drug to me. Brian, you could read the same list for alcohol. The point is, I'm trying to get you to expand beyond your clear well, bias. You'll, for you'll, wait a minute, wait, hold on, let me get in here. ABC News Now, good to know.